rot to the people. New rot. This should be sick. Uh, let me turn the video back on. Or the thing. There we go. New rot. I loved Dererum Najera and the the vocalist, I think, contacted me. I, th I think. I think it's the vocalist. I could be wrong. Uh, <clears throat> hey man, what's up? I'm I'm si Simon Simon P Pietro Forte from Rot. I can't pronounce people's names. I'm sorry. Uh, since we saw your reaction to our latest single, De Rerum Natura, we thought you'd want to do another video for the next one. We're going to release a new single this Thursday at 3 p.m. Here's the premiere. Uh, I was working all day Thursday. I would have done that Thursday. Let me check this out. Death to the people. Rot. Let's go. See how heavy this is. Probably insanely heavy. Yep. This is so bouncy, I love it. This feels like Darko almost. <laughs> I love this. This is really cool. <laughs> the half time Ooh. creepy Thanks for the bit. Dude. <laughs> There's one.
Easy 9 out of 10. Easy 9 out of 10 track. That was incredible. Wow. My favorite part of it was the vocals. And the way the vocals kind of just vibe. Let me find the, the... I think the first part where they came in and like... It first started going was the best example. Let me... This is so good. Yeah, just listen to the rhythm of the vocals and the way it fits in with the music and it kind of it this is what Darko does a lot. The the rhythm of the vocals lines up with the music and kind of like the punches of the drums and you'll hear that you hear that in here with the da 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 it's got like that sort of thing here it's very rhythmic it's it's very bouncy it's got that drive to it which is why i compared it to darko because that's what darko does and overall it's just like the whole song is super memorable because of that i love songs that have that driving rhythmic vibe with the lyrics it's so good uh there was another oh yeah the uh the different vocal things around here I forget where that was. But yeah, like the yell part in the chorus and the other like different scream things. Big fan of that. I'm a big fan of like different kinds of screams. I I love this track. <laughs> this was this was amazing. And then the breakdown and then you thought it was over and then there's more and then your headphones are broken and then <laughs> like man, it just it just kept going. That was crazy. You've got like... That insane. Uh, yeah, all, all six of them actually. They're all great. <laughs> Every single... Every one of the, the six breakdowns in here. That's crazy. I think really the strongest uh, area of this song is just the structure of it. It doesn't feel like it goes on for too long or it overstays its welcome or it's too short it feels perfect the length feels perfect the different sections feels perfect you have the little intro it kind of starts getting in the groove the lyrics come in the lyrics are like really bouncy and like catchy rhythmically and then it just kind of goes it's got a little chorus part it's got some other interesting stuff that happens it's got some different vocals it's got like like the almost like gang vocals a little bit it sounded a little bit kind of like gang vocals but in the way that doom has gang vocals where it's like a bunch of a bunch of metal vocalists screaming together is kind of what it sounded like. I don't know if it was just the one vocalist layering his vocals or if it's multiple of them together, but it sounded like that, I think. And then there was like a different sort of thing. And then you went into the breakdown and just, it felt like such a cohesive song structure and it made it enjoyable throughout. Like I was, I was engaged. I was, I was bouncing along. I was this, this goes so hard. Easy nine out of 10 track banger. Great song.